Hi, today I will teach you regarding the cutaneous dermoid cyst. This was the biopsy received from 1 by 1 cm size swelling that is present over the eyelid from the ophthalmology department. So let's start the discussion of the cutaneous dermoid cyst. This is the low power view of the cutaneous dermoid cyst. Now we will inspect in the 20x view. So in the dermoid cyst, the cyst wall is obviously lined by stratified squamous epithelium. So this is the epithelium, stratified squamous epithelium. This is the lining epithelium. Above it, there is a presence of lamellated keratin. The keratin might not be lamellated, but usually it's the lamellated. So the keratin is present. And the third important point that is used for diagnosis of dermoid cyst is that should be present of skin adnexal structure. So the sweat glands and sebaceous gland are present. These all are the sweet gland, sorry, sebaceous glands. The sebaceous glands having the clear cytoplasm. These are the sebaceous glands. Uh, this is the high power view of the skin adnexa that was present beneath the epithelium. You can able to see the sweat glands. And this one is the sebaceous gland. So both sweat gland and sebaceous glands were present. So this is regarding the diagnosis of cutaneous dermoid cyst. Just remember three points. There should be presence of keratin, usually lamellated. There should be lining epithelium. And there should be presence of skin adnexa, particularly sweat glands and sebaceous glands. And that can be seen here, sweat glands and sebaceous glands. If the similar morphology is seen but the skin adnexa is absent, then your diagnosis will be epidermoid cyst. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making the diagnosis of the dermoid cyst. If you like the video, subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.